After the live stream the other night, I emailed Ashar at HF Signals at uh, his website, and he replied back pretty quickly. It was the middle of the night for me, and he said, when I get the error, your local changes to the following files will be overwritten, uh, data forward slash hw underscore settings dot ini. Please commit your changes or stash them before you merge, and then it said aborting. So I sent him a screenshot of that error, and he's like, yeah, the hw underscore settings dot ini file is confused. He's like, just rename it to something perform the update, and then name it back to H hw underscore dot settings. And then he replied again like 30 minutes later, and he's like, hey, this is a problem we are aware of. We'll have it fixed in a few hours. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks for your quick response. And then the next morning, I hadn't heard back from him, so I emailed him again, and he replied almost immediately. says, try running the update now. It should work. I've updated the uh, repo, the repo, to stop complaining about this file, about this INI file. My own system is a mess with all kinds of development stuff right now. So yeah, sometimes this, this kind of happens. So we're going to perform this update now. And once again, like I showed in the video the other night, you browse, uh, this is the, 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 the screen is dark right now on purpose because this screen is bright. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to change the set, the brightness of this screen. Not easily within the GUI anyway. And I didn't, I was like, oh, I can change the camera. It's not, not a big deal. So this right here, updating the SBIDX, is basically it just says to browse to the directory of the sbidx folder by typing cd space sbidx so that's what i'm going to do now there okay now i'm in the sbidx folder and now i just run dot forward slash update same error giving me the same error so i'm going to reply back to a shard but i'm going to try changing the uh, i'm going to try changing the thing or no, print weren't not that. Settings.ini is in there. We're going to rename it. Old underscore HW is what I renamed it to. It doesn't have a dot INI at the end of it. Okay, so now we're going to switch back to the other directory. All right, so we're back in the SBIDX directory. Print working directory shows uh, home pi SBIDX. And now I'm going to run update again after renaming the HW underscore settings file. Eight files change, 147 insertions, 62 deletions, database is intact, compiling SBIDX version v2.0 in HomePy SBIDX right there. So that worked. That's a workaround, and it worked. I'm going to have to email Ashar and say, it's not technically fixed yet. I still had to rename the hw underscore settings.ini file. I booted this thing up right before I turned the camera on, so it wasn't that it had an old repository or anything like that. So now we've got the brand new version forgot where the data directory was for a second so i got the data directory got back in there renamed the uh file back to hw underscore settings dot ini so we're all good there so i'm going to close out of this and we're going to go to sbitx right here the shortcut on the middle of the screen there when you click on that it opens the sbitx application and it opens fl digi and it takes you to this browser screen here pass key all right here we go after entering the pass key we're into this right here this is the so i've got three windows open right now so that opens up automatically when you click on the icon in the middle this right here is sbitx uh 2.0 and i've got um a log screen right there now i need to go through first time setup i, I went through this on the live stream the other night so that should be good to go Press update to save settings. Your radio is now configured for all modes. Yep, that should be good to go. Basic operation. Here we go. So we're going to go through that in another video soon. Okay, it says, uh, welcome KC5HWB. Your grid is Echo Mic 12 right there. Boom, boom. And log. I guess log is the stations I worked. I don't know. I thought it was asking me to log into something. So FL Digi, that screen there. And then this screen here is just like a radio control, I guess. I'm on lower sideband on 7.2. 036. Yeah, that's a tuning. I can tune it right there with the touch screen. I currently don't have a lead run to my outside antenna uh, for an extra. All my leads are plugged into my radios, <laughs> so they're not they're not available right now. But uh, so I want to I want to take this thing out in the field anyway. Take it out and do some uh, some field video with it. Connect it to an infant half wave that's resonant on certain bands and whatnot. But that's updating it. So updating it. Uh, that's the workaround for updating it. Obviously, it's not fixed yet. Um, I'm going to reply back to Ashar 
here in just a minute and tell him, hey, it's still not working. But uh, I was able to get around to it, get around it with the workaround that he sent me. I'm looking forward to running this radio. I really am. It's got a neat display. It's got some neat features to it. I appreciate you guys watching the live stream the other night. Several comments in the live stream included thoughts on this one between, say, a G90 and the new FX4CR that I just did a video for. Uh, I haven't used this radio yet, so I'm not sure what sound, what it sounds like, what kind of filtering it has in it. I wouldn't backpack with this radio. It's a little bit, it's it's a little bit too i don't think it's made to be packed up and backpacked with it's it's not durable enough i don't think if you're wanting to do backpacking i choose the fx4 cr or maybe even the g90 g90 is only four, uh, only 20 watts on on uh 20 watts this one's 40 watts on most bands it's 20 watts on the higher bands so there's that g90 you have to use the digi rig to get it to do digital modes this is all inclusive logs its own stuff either choice is good this has more features than the g90 does that's about the same price, I guess. The FX4CR is much more compact, much smaller, and uh, has a built-in sound card as well, so it's easy to do FT8. So put a comment below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see with this new uh, V2 from Espedex.